With the rise of VPNs, you're likely to see even more adverts now. Encrypted connections, RAM-only servers, it's also technical. And I often find they don't clearly explain why a VPN might benefit a complete beginner. That's why in this video, I'll show how to use VPN and talk simply about how it helps me every day online. Okay, let's start simple by answering what is a VPN? Well, it stands for Virtual Private Network, and it's a tool that hides your activities online. Simply put, it encrypts your connection to the internet. For instance, when you open a web page or load an application without a VPN, third parties like the government, cyber criminals, or even just your internet service provider can track what you're doing and determine your location and your identity. This is all possible because of a little thing we call an IP address that is tied to your geographical area and other data about you. A VPN helps to hide this and gives you more privacy online. Okay, so how does it do this? Well, it's because the VPN encryption makes your data unusable, scrambling it like an egg. It also means that you access the internet with a fake IP instead of your regular personal IP. And anything that's tracking you will see the virtual location of the replacement IP and not your regular one. If you're a little lost, let me quickly put it into practice. For example, say I'm in the US right now and my IP is exposed and can easily be linked back to my location by anyone who cares to snoop but not if I connect to a VPN server in the UK. You see, once I do that, my IP is replaced with one from the UK. So when I access the internet, it looks like I'm doing so from that other country. This protects my privacy and security online. But you might be thinking, why would I need to enhance my security? Or maybe how does a VPN work in real life use cases? The most obvious scenario is when using unsecured networks like public Wi-Fi in an airport or a coffee shop. We've all been there. In this specific case, a VPN will hide your browsing activity and a lot more. It's important to remember that even the smallest personal information is usable for a cyber criminal to create a profile of you, or worse, to inject malware onto your device. Though there are other benefits too that have nothing to do with security, like accessing websites or streaming services from anywhere. For instance, like I said, I'm in the US right now, but a VPN can help me access shows exclusive to the UK, Canada, Japan, heck, anywhere with a VPN server. Of course, not all VPNs are equipped to do this, so later on I'll give some advice on what to look out for. A good option should have enough servers that let you access pretty much any popular entertainment service you can think of, and from anywhere. A lot of these servers will be P2P optimized too, which is just a fancy way of saying that they're fast and equipped for torrenting. When connected, these servers make P2P file transfer safe and more anonymous. And although a controversial topic in the gaming community, a VPN service in some cases can actually reduce in-game ping, increasing your gaming speeds and helping you game more safely. In essence, VPNs are widely used across the globe for various reasons, apart from countries where they're illegal to use. For everyone else, you can download VPN applications for all operating systems, and they're fully functional on mobile or desktop too though the quality features and ease of use does vary from provider to provider. So if we're really doing the VPN Explained, we gotta talk about what separates a good one from a bad one. You see, to be called the best VPN, you've gotta do a lot of stuff right. First and foremost, by demonstrating strong security and privacy practices. After all, they need to be able to protect your data and not leak or harvest it. The best way for a company to do this is by having a good privacy policy. Something called no logs is often the best approach here because it means the company doesn't store any user activity or data. And you'll often find this claim will be enhanced by an independent third-party audit proving its legitimacy. Second, having a large number of servers spanning different countries and regions across the world is vital for a best VPN. This ensures a good variety of server choices for all activities and good speeds, although the latter isn't always guaranteed, so picking a VPN with servers close to you should give you the best speeds. Next, a modern tunneling protocol is also very important. Any VPN that offers WireGuard or WireGuard-based protocols should have the best speeds, NordVPN being a prime example here with their NordLynx protocol. Otherwise, OpenVPN should have good speeds that won't hinder your browsing. Finally, features are important too. Generally, the essential features begin with a functioning kill switch. This ensures your data isn't leaked online in the event of connectivity issues. Tracker blocking is also a nice addition to protect you from tracking and profiling, plus any other features that might make your experience easier and safer. 
like specialized servers, split tunneling, or dark web monitoring. Now, not all VPNs offer the same functionalities, so it is important to consider what matters most to you. If it's having the utmost privacy, a provider like ProtonVPN excels here with their open source applications. If, however, you want an antivirus VPN bundle, then maybe Surfshark offers one of the most affordable plans on the market. However, I find NordVPN to be the most versatile option because it works excellently on multiple of these issues. They've also increased their number of servers and have the fastest speeds on the market too. The app is also really intuitive, so I'll use it as an example in the next part of the video, a short VPN tutorial. Remember, if you don't have a subscription yet, you can get the best deals by using the link in the description or by scanning the QR code. Otherwise, head to your VPN's webpage and buy a plan. One tip is that you'll generally get the best savings by opting for the plan with the longest duration. Also, although there are free VPNs on the market, a lot of the time they offer lackluster features and sometimes actually collect and sell user data. For that reason, but also to be able to give you the full tutorial on how to use NordVPN, I'll stick with their premium plan. Next, you'll want to download the application for whichever device you want to use first. NordVPN will let you use 10 devices simultaneously. And finally, you'll need to create a password by following the registration link they send to your email. Once that's done, you can use these details to access your account. Once inside, you'll see a layout like this, or something similar depending on your device. NordVPN has a really intuitive interface and a map design which makes connecting to a server super simple. There's the Quick Connect feature, which is ideal for beginners. Just simply tap the button and you'll be connected to a server nearby. To confirm it worked, just take a look at the connection status and the name of the server you're connected to at the top. But if you want to connect to a specific server, you can use the map or the countries list. Both are equally efficient. Once you've chosen one, simply click it to connect and then your connection will be secure. And if you want to change servers, there's no need to disconnect first. Simply click another location and wait for the change. Next, you'll want to make sure your kill switch is on. This feature ensures that your real IP isn't exposed if your connection to the internet drops, because the kill switch will temporarily disable your internet access until the connection is back up. NordVPN employs a few different versions of the kill switch that have different customizations, but all are automatic. I'd recommend just leaving the default settings here, but know that you can add particular apps to make them quit automatically when not connected to the VPN. This could be your banking apps or other stuff like that. And now that your connection is secure and nothing is leaking, it's a good time to learn how to access some different content you'd otherwise not be able to see. For instance, here's the streaming library that's available in my country, but I wanna watch some Japanese exclusive content. So to view that library, I have to close my webpage, connect to a Japanese server, and refresh the service, like so. Now I can view an entirely different content library. It's the same principle for other services too. And NordVPN tends to have the best consistency, speeds, and minimal troubleshooting for all streaming in general. Finally, split tunneling is another feature worth learning how to use. With NordVPN, this feature is available on both Windows and Android and lets you choose which apps or web pages to include or exclude from your VPN connection. It sounds complicated, but say I want to browse local shopping sites while simultaneously watching foreign content. For this situation, I unfortunately couldn't simply route my connection through one server like we previously did because I wouldn't be getting acceptable results. This is where, in the split tunneling settings, I can simply add my preferences, making it so the VPN connection is isolated to just my app, while the browsing is going through my regular connection. Those are just the basics to get you started, but NordVPN has a lot more features to offer. However, they aren't the only provider worth considering. Surfshark and ProtonVPN would be my next recommendations. Both are trustworthy options that have lots of features and good performance. They have differences in their user interfaces too. This is how you connect to one of their servers, with Proton offering a map similar to NordVPN and Surfshark just having a list. Proton VPN gives more of a tech expert vibe, so in comparison, it could feel less intuitive for beginners than NordVPN or Surfshark. Having said that, they do offer a guided tour of the app after signup. And Surfshark is probably the next fastest VPN on the market behind NordVPN but at an even cheaper price. So time for final thoughts. Considering a VPN is an essential part of staying safe online, it's vital that you choose a provider that's easy to use, safe, and has good performance. While NordVPN is my top recommendation, especially for beginners because it has the best speeds and lots of servers, any of my suggestions will protect your activities online immensely. Be sure to tap that box to get the best deal, and why not check out our channel for even more content.
That's it for my VPN tutorial for beginners. Stay safe out there, guys, and see you next time.